Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, I am washing my hair right now. Um, I'm gonna be getting ready to apply a wig on, but I just took braids out, so I wanted to wash my hair. So I wanted to show you guys the process, just in case anyone wants to know how I wash my hair, this is how I wash it. And I do have 4C hair for anyone that is wondering. So what I like to do is I like to get my hair extremely wet, and then I like to apply my shampoo. Um, and when I apply my shampoo, I like to apply it to the scalp first, because that's basically what's dirty is the scalp. Um, that's where I get all like my buildup and my dirt and my dandruff and stuff like that. So I definitely go in and I scrub my scalp really, really well first. And then after I do that, I like to rinse that out and then apply um, some more soap to the ends of my hair. This just helps make me make sure that I get all of the dirt and gunk and grease and the edge control for my braids and all of that stuff out of my hair. So after I wash my hair, this is definitely what my hair looks like. Oh my God, I look so crazy, but this is what my hair looks like. Um, in case you guys wanted to know, I am heat free. I do not put any heat on my hair. The only time I put heat on my hair is if I'm either blow drying it or if I'm trimming my hair. And when I trim my hair, it's only like once every 10 weeks. Um, so yeah, that's basically the only time I ever trim my hair. Um, right here, I'm going and applying my hair into sections. I like to work in sections when I'm blow drying my hair. It's just a lot easier for me because my hair is so tangled a lot of the times. And because my curl pattern, just the way it is, I like to section it off. It just helps me a little bit better. So I like to apply this Bond Repair to my ends by Caviar. Um, I like to apply this to my ends just because I feel like it helps my ends, um, especially with me putting heat on my hair. It helps keep my ends healthy and not be so brittle and break off. So I like to apply a little bit of oil to the ends of my hair. And for my blow dryer, I'm gonna be using the Paul Mitchell blow dryer, but the attachment, guys, when I tell you, if you have 4C hair like me, you have a hard time getting your hair straight, use this blow drying attachment. It works wonders like look at that look at the way that look at how straight my hair is like you don't even need to press it all you have to do is go in with the straightener it's so bone straight like it's ridiculous i love this you can get it on amazon i got mine at my local beauty supply but apparently they don't sell them anymore so yeah this ugh, this blow drying attachment is like the bomb.com it really gets my hair so 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 straight right here i'm just sectioning it like i said i like to work in sections i don't know what happened right there but it's super short and i'm like what the heck um but i like to work in sections so i'm gonna section that off i already applied my oil and then i'm just going to blow dry it but yeah this blow dryer is the bomb it's not even the blow dryer it's the blow drying attachment when i tell you this blow drying attachment makes it so much easier to blow dry my hair i would always like cry and be like so annoyed with having to get my hair done as a kid or even now because it is just so much work and it's so hard um, but this method has made it easier especially because the blow drying attachment as you guys can see it has um, metal on the inside so the metal acts as a straightener so it is putting tension on the hair and straightening the hair a little bit more with the metal inserts on the inside so that's why I like this one specifically I know there's one that has like the red plastic um, tension combs on the inside but I much prefer the metal just because I feel like it works a little bit better and it's a little bit easier to deal with um, so yeah that's what I like to do and it has made the process so 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 much easier that is my dog in the background crying <laughs> if you guys hear any noise that is her crying I just got her like a week and a half ago she's eight weeks old um, so yeah after it's all blow dried I like to take the attachment off and just use it just like this and just um, make sure that my scalp is dry because when my scalp is dry it just works a little bit better and sometimes I don't want to keep going in with the heat going through every piece of strand and hair so I just take this and just go through it with the scalp um, to make sure that my scalp is dry because majority of the times that's the last thing that dries is my scalp so that's basically what I'm doing right here and then I like to um, since I'm gonna be applying a wig I'm gonna be braiding it so again sectioning it I'm only gonna do four braids I used to do like the super small braids and all that stuff but I realized I don't like wear my wigs for a long time and doing the super small braids is just a waste of my time so I just like to do these flat braids um, they work just as well my hair is just as flat so that's why I like to do this it's the same exact method it works fine if you're the type of person that likes to wear your wigs for a long time doing the smaller braids might work for you so you can try that but this is what it looks like when I'm all done with my braids just very simple easy peasy um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my wig cap now 
this method that I'm doing today is just something very simple, very easy. You can take this off at the end of the day if you wanted to. Um, this is just like I'm going out for the day, but I want to take my wig off when I get back home. So that's basically what I'm doing. Just fitting it to my head, seeing how I like it and where I want to apply my glue and all that stuff. And definitely combing it out because she has been sitting for maybe a little bit more than a month. So you definitely want to make sure you comb it out and add some oil before you start combing it out. That way it's not so tangled. This hair is so bomb. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna apply some clips just to keep it up out of my way while I do the glue. So that's why I like to do the clips. It just helps, you know, just helps keeps the hair out of my way and out of my face. And I'm gonna pull my wig cap down. Um, yeah, T let me know if you guys wanna see an updated in-depth tutorial on how I apply my wigs with the wig cap method. I do have one. I will leave it linked somewhere in the description for you guys. Um, so in case you guys wanna see that, or if you guys wanna update it one, make sure you guys let me know. Um, but in this video, I'm just basically gonna be showing you guys how I apply my wigs, just like when I'm just wanna get up and go and I don't really wanna do the whole wig cap method. This is just how I apply it for like, you know, like a regular day out in the town. And I am using my Bold Hold Extreme Cream. I do need to get some more. I've had this stuff for a little bit over like two years now. Um, and I think it doesn't work as good anymore because I've had it for so long. So it's about that time that I get some more. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to place the wig cap where I want it. So where it's like covering my hair, but it's not too far on my forehead because my forehead is very tiny. So this can go wrong very, very quickly. And I'm only going to be doing one layer because, like I said, I want to be able to take this off every single day. Or just today, when I take it off, I wanted to be able to take it off when I was done. Because the more glue you add, the harder it is to take off. But the less glue you add, the easier it is to take off. So if you just do one layer, you can definitely take it off at the end of the night. Um, and it does not ruin your hair, guys. I mean, it will ruin your hair depending on how you take it off. But if you're very, you know, cautious and um, if you're very patient with taking your wigs off, you will be just fine. Trust me, I know it's on my edges, but I can't really help that because of the way my hairline is. Um, but I have never had an issue with it pulling out any of my hair and I've been wearing wigs for years. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna dry that. And once it turns clear, I'm going to apply my wig. I like to apply my wig in sections, starting with the middle and then the corners, just because I feel like it's easier that way versus trying to apply the entire wig at one time. So that's basically what I'm doing right here. And I'm just gonna tap that in and then pull the sides down and I'm just gonna put the rest of it in place. That way it's all in the right spot. So yeah, this is a super simple, easy method. I'm telling you, it's so simple, guys. This literally took me like 40 minutes to do and that's including the blow dry and everything. Um, all together, my footage was about 55 minutes long. So it really wasn't even that big um, so or that long. But yeah, so I like to take the back of my comb and like push it into the scalp just to help it. And yeah, that's how I like to do that. I just like to make sure that it is in there so that way it doesn't come off because we wanna keep it secure. So now I'm just gonna do the rest of it. I'm gonna be doing the sides and you know all that stuff. This stuff is repetitive. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys finish watching the rest of this video and I'll come back when I have more to talk about. The, in, the sides of my ears, where the ears are, that was a lot harder to do. That's always the part that I need to work the most on. Um, but yeah, so it's you have to make sure that you're very cautious when you do that and make sure you're adding enough glue and that you're putting enough pressure to lay your edges down and the sides down. So the, right here, basically what I was doing is trying to get those ear tabs to lay down and then also going over any of the lace around my forehead that is lifting. So that's basically what I'm doing, just adding any more product to the little edge that I felt like was lifting so basically it very self-explanatory very very simple and easy Alrighty, guys well this is going to complete the end of this video I went ahead and did my baby hairs and did a little bit of styling off camera like I said this was not going to be a styling tutorial it was just how I apply my wigs and how I wash my hair so if you guys want to do if you guys do want to see how I style my video, my hair <clears throat> I can't even talk make sure you guys comment down below and let me know subscribe to this channel and yeah thank you guys so 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 much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys